It's a commonly held belief that younger drivers are the ones who cause all Britain's car accidents, tearing about on drugs with their hats on back to front. But the truth is that elderly people are three times more likely to have a crash than their grandchildren. Think about it. When was the last time you heard of a young person driving the wrong way down a motorway? Never. It's always an old person in their 80s. And how often do you hear about a teenager plowing their car into the sea? Again, never. It's always an old lady in a fiesta. But now it seems Britain's old people have found a new way to get their kicks. Terrifyingly, they're jumping the lights at level crossings. Look at this idiot, caught on CCTV, larking about in his reliant Robin. He was lucky not to kill someone. If we examine the footage more carefully, we see the really worrying thing. He wasn't even wearing a high-visibility jacket. The trouble is that people have seen their grandparents driving through the red lights with no safety clothing at all and think it's OK for them to do it as well. The figures make for appalling reading. There are 1,600 level crossings in Britain, and according to British Rail, or whatever they're called these days, many people are injured on them every year. You might think it's fun to jump the red lights. You might think it'll save you a few minutes. You might think it's OK because your granddad's always doing it, or because you've got a Renault Espace, which has a five-star Euro NCAP safety rating. But it's not all right, as I shall now prove with a gratuitous shot of a train smashing into the Espace at very high speed. Hey, darling, I you could bring a high hat to me. Public road, you deserve to be called a maniac. That's toast. That's bad. I'd quite like to see that again, in slow motion. And even slower. So that is how far the train went from, what, 70, 80 miles an hour? The message, then, is clear. Unless you want that to happen to you, always wear this. Thank you.